military starting a six-month study aimed at deciding whether a ban on transgender people should end. And while some say progress toward acceptance is finally being made, for others, it's too late. Only on 5 News Channel 5's Homa Bass sat down with an ex-Marine and Air Force sergeant, and Homa, she wanted to talk about her struggle. Yeah, Danita, she did, and even though she felt alone much of the time, there are actually more than 15,000 transgender people currently serving in the military. So, it's clear she wasn't fighting that battle all by herself. For much of her life, Jocelyn hid who she was. It's not a place for sissies. At 18, she enlisted in the Marines. And it's not a place for opinions either. So for the 10 years she spent in the military, four as a Lance Corporal in the Marine Corps, six as a tech sergeant in the Air Force, the secret became buried even deeper. I didn't want to hear the whispers and the jokes and I grew up with a lot of it, you know, and I didn't want to relive any of that. In 2008, Jocelyn left the military to make the transition from male to female, a process banned under current rules. Monday, Defense Secretary Ash Carter saying it's outdated, promising to lift that ban. But even with that, Jocelyn says she wouldn't go back. And while it's the right step, it might not be the easiest. You have to educate people. You have to tell them, like, look, this, you know, it's really none of your business. Don't treat these people any different. They're here serving by your side for the same cause, fighting the same fight. Let them. The six-month study will include questions about health care, housing, physical standards, and costs before that ban can be lifted. In the newsroom, I'm Huma Bash, News Channel 5.